Hello, it's Nikki and welcome to part one of five all around speaking. I am celebrating a very special anniversary this week, which is I have been a paid speaker for 25 years and I want to share with you 25 reasons. I know you're like, what? <laughs> I mean, we might get to like point number 19 and you're like, whoa, this, this is a lot. But my aim is that they're going to be snippy snappy ones, ones that you can take and go, right, all right, how do I apply this to my business? What do I need to do? How could this work for me? Um, throughout this series, I am also sharing a 25% discount on Speak Up. Uh, you're going to find me very reflective today. I am recording this on the 8th of November, which is the day before my birthday. And it is absolutely chucking it down here. But yet today I went to meet my pal in King's Cross and our days, our birthdays are a day apart. And so I don't always get to see her um, around our birthdays because we live at opposite ends of the country. But I did today and that was so great. That was, I mean, that's a conversation for, for me and her, not, not necessarily for the internet. But I walked actually to King's Cross and back. And I love doing that because A, I love being able to multitask and being able to exercise at, rather than sitting on a, a bus in traffic, certainly at the time I was traveling. Um, but I also had a lot of thinking time about where I'm going next and where I've been and all of that. Anyway, I want to talk about Speak Up today because it is just over four years since I launched this program and so many people have taken it. Um, not as in millions, although millions of course are welcome to come in. I mean from so many different types of industries, from founders to creators to chefs to photographers to yoga instructors to inventors to writers to CEOs. Um, yeah, so many different types of people. And I feel so passionate about this work. And there's something about this 25 uh, year anniversary where... I really look at this, not in a told you so way, because that that energy, that attitude is not welcome around here. But in a, I knew it, I knew it from every part of my being. I don't know if you were the same as me, but I was often, I mean, surprise, surprise, told off for talking in class, told off for talking like, come on now, come on. Eyes down, stop, dip, 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 dip. It was all of that stuff. And I get it, of course. If you're trying to teach 30 people and you've got two kids, me and my pal, yakking on in the corner, that's not going to help anyone. But I also knew that from being a little girl, I could talk to anybody about anything. I knew that I could communicate ideas. I knew I could tell stories. I knew I wanted to be an actor. I knew that... I wasn't necessarily getting everything that I needed and I knew that I would have to be an advocate. I knew that I would have to use my voice because certainly growing up in lots of environments that I was in, I didn't necessarily feel heard. And if I did feel heard, I wasn't necessarily agreed with. I was somebody who was definitely like walking outside the lines. And so it gives me great pleasure with no smugness at all, but great pleasure 25 years later that I can say to myself, yes, you knew, you did it, and here you are 25 years later. So now my catch um, phrase, and maybe I'll get it made into um, some kind of Etsy shop at some point, but I used to get told off for talking and now I get paid to speak. And I want to encourage you to really think about where your business is going next in terms of your communication, in terms of your visibility. And I'm going to share with you the first five of 25 today. 
as to why I think that that is a brilliant idea. Number one, if you get your speaking right, if you communicate well, it works across every part of your business. It joins everything together. And so often there are parts of our lives and our business which are compartmentalized. Whereas if you are a personal brand, if you are the one with a portfolio career and you are in the center of it, everything has to make sense. And so you will have heard me talking about this so often, but in Speak Up, as part of the homework, you actually have to do it. You actually have to speak up about it. You have to actually go live. And I think at this point, there are so many of us out there, myself included, and I have to check myself all the time, we're being so vanilla. We're not saying what we need to say. We're trying to appeal to everybody. And it it comes, I'm sure, from that very good place of like, I just want to help everybody. You're not going to help everybody because not everybody's going to like you. There. I said it. There will be some people who might like me as a person, but they have zero interest in ever purchasing from me. Because they're like, I mean, they've even said it to my face. You know, friends or husbands of friends, mentioning no names, but they, they love having a beer with me. But as soon as if I came to my business, they're like, yeah, but are you still doing that? Is that like, is that like a thing, coaching? You know, it's one of the greatest, fastest rising industries, but there will be still some people out there going, is that still a thing? Is that, you know, whatever. So we have to stand in our integrity. We have to stand in our personal power. We have to be in integrity across every part of your business. So if you're feeling like some parts of your business are a bit stale, they're maybe a bit staged, maybe they're a bit stuck, speaking about them will really reveal all of the stuff that's going on underneath. Number two, yes, there will be some people who are naturally extroverted, naturally confident, naturally loud and love to be the loudest person in the room. No problem. Those people can go and live their lives and all the rest of it. But aside from that natural ability, that I believe personally, there are so many things that you can learn and improve upon. And it's almost like if you were transforming your body. If you work the same muscles every single day, they're going to grow. They're going to change shape. And that is the same thing with speaking. It's a muscle that if you work it, it will work for you again and again. It will get stronger. It will become more refined. It will become, um, it won't let you down. It will be there for you whenever you need it. And so if you allow your head, and maybe as I'm saying this, you're like, yeah, well, it's all right for her. She went to bloody drama school or, you know, well, I mean, it's different for me. Yes, I'm sure it is different for, for you. But Are you taking yourself out of the game of growing your business because you're letting an old story of, oh, I'm not very, oh, it's not my natural thing. I like, I never know what to say. The information, the knowledge, the support is there for you. Are you going to take it? Here we go. Number three, connection. We need it. We need it so much. I need it as a client and as a customer and as a a mum and a parent and a participant and a community member, as a daughter, as a sister, as an auntie. Like I, I am looking and seeking that connection. And even the other day, my daughter's just, yeah, she's just had a bit of a week, essentially. She's very tired. And when she's very tired, she's very emotional. And I said to my partner, it's as though she just needs to go back to basics, like skin to skin. And maybe skin to skin is not the one for her because she's four and she's like, let me just put the telly on. Great. But it was that sense of coming back, coming back to safety, reassurance, eye contact, quiet time. And it's the same with your business. 
Everything can be automated if we want it to be. We can choose to be in a world where we don't interact with people. We can choose to get things on automation um, or we just get a notification about something. We can leave instructions for our postie or delivery person just to leave by the front door so we don't even have to have a conversation. We can order our shopping online. We don't have to go anywhere or do anything with anyone if we don't want to but I do want to. And I have felt that power of being in connection with people. Remember the Me Too Too movement? The phrase absolutely says it all. That sense of camaraderie, that sense of coming together, a shared purpose, an understanding. And when you speak up about things, you have that potential to be that person for other people. And you can interpret whatever that solution is for you. You know, you can help people feel less alone. You can help people be inspired. Um, You can give them information that maybe they've been looking for for years. You can... Um, build that connection where they think, well, if she can do it, maybe I can do it. You will have your own version. But when we are in a time when the world wants to automate everything and take humans out of the experience, out of the process, to quicken things up, to get us more and more reliant on our technology, on our phones, and our like being in our own spaces and not going places, you have that opportunity to build connection. And If you don't necessarily feel ready to step into that, like, I'm a connector, I can create ripple effects. Think about what happens when you are privy to that, when you feel connected, when suddenly you feel cracked open and you have that sense of, ah, I'm not the only one, or nobody has ever said it in that way before. Ah, it's usually an emotional response. Number four, with your speaking, you can attract a global audience. And I think many of us forget this, even though we know it is the world, world wide web. (laughs) It's really difficult to say. It's like, you know, when you question something like, is that what it's called? It is the internet, the internet, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I still don't necessarily think about all of the corners in the world that potentially have access to my material. And it's only when I go into my podcast stats that it just blows my mind where people are listening, places I've never been to in the world, but yet my voice has been transported into people's ears. And Yeah, I'm just sort of in awe of that. And I forget about it in the day-to-day basis, mainly probably because when I'm on social media, you know, I probably get quite localized information or the algorithm gives me similar sorts of things. And so you have to remember the potentiality of a global audience. And you have that ability to speak up and share your message. Number five. I'm going to say it again for those at the back. You can earn money from this. And I know people want to tell you nonsense about no budgets or it's just exposure or it'll be a great thing, great experience, blah, 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 brilliant. Yes, there may be times when you do that for all of those reasons. But there will also be times where you are booked and hired and paid for being there as a speaker. And so if you want to build a reliable, brilliant, credible, additional income source, speaking is a fantastic way to go. Because once you've got all of these skills that I'm going to teach you in Speak Up, you, you've got them for life. You can hone them. You've got that process. You can work through it and edit as you go. If you want 25% off, check out the link down below. You don't need any promo codes, but the details are down there because it will close on a certain date. Have a look. Any questions, let me know, and I'll see you tomorrow for part two. Bye.